All right, it's like 100 degrees today, so I'm hanging out in the pawpaw patch because they're starting to ripen. I thought I'd share a few of these characters with you. You can find pawpaws all kinds of shapes out in the wild. This is probably the, the typical looking wild pawpaw. It looks like a peanut, right? And it's got quite a few big seeds in it when it's wild and not necessarily always the best flavors. So that compared to, you know, something like Susquehanna. So look at this big, beautiful. Very few seeds in this not bitter, lots of aromatic flavors. Uh, this is one of the top cultivars, Susquehanna. Uh, Shenandoah is another favorite one. Here's a beautiful little Shenandoah, a little bit lighter and sweeter. There's a full spectrum of flavors with the pawpaws. And there's all kinds of sizes. Sometimes you'll get these little characters, even on a cultivar. Sometimes you'll get, you know, small fruit, you know, that'll, that'll drop and it'll be tasty, but there's not a lot of flesh in there, right? And in the wild, it's quite variable. This is, this is another little a uh, cultivar called Green River Bell. And it's a smaller one. There's bigger ones on the tree, but this is also something you might typically find in the wild. That might be more of an average. And again, when they're bred as cultivars, part of what they're being bred for is having low seed to pulp ratio. So you have less seeds because they have big lima bean seeds in them, size seeds, and, and you want the flesh. So looking for your cultivars, planting your cultivars uh, is, is a good way to get started. Whew. It's hot out here, but these trees are on swales. They've got deep roots. They're well mulched. They're windbreaked, you know, so they're still fully productive without irrigation. And that is the key. And that is the magic of permaculture design. So we're sitting pretty.